If this occurred during one wash only, then there was a possibility of overloading or an off-balance load created the problem. If the washer continues to vibrate, go to the next checks. If the washer is not level and legs are not installed correctly, the washer may vibrate and cause noise. Check to make sure the washer is level and all four feet in firm contact with the floor. The legs should be properly installed, and if the legs have locking nuts, they should be tightened against the washer cabinet. If a pedestal is used with the washer, make sure that the pedestal is attached correctly to the bottom of the washer. On some models, the legs of the washer must be removed from the washer and installed on the pedestal. Refer to model-specific instructions. Make sure that all the shipping materials have been removed, no matter whether this is a new machine or if the materials have been reinserted for relocation. Are other items in the room, such as the dryer, vibrating? This can be a sign that the washer is not leveled properly or the floor is an issue. If the floor is not sturdy enough to support 400 pounds, as described in the owner's manual, then the floor can flex and be the cause of the vibration and noise problem. Refer to the installation instructions for flooring requirements. Noise and vibration may be reduced by placing a piece of three-quarter inch plywood underneath the washer. The plywood may extend under both the washer and dryer to keep them at equal heights. If this does not solve the problem, a service call may need to be scheduled.